Across the world, there are many species of bugs that can be deadly to humans. Sometimes they let you know they are dangerous with their bright colors, but sometimes the most unassuming are the most lethal. And they are all dangerous in their own unique way. From an ant that technically isn't an ant, to a bug that lives in the most unexpected of places, here are 20 deadly insects you do not want to mess with. Number 20, Giant Asian Buffalo Leech. The giant Asian buffalo leech is a species of leech found in the Southeast Asia. It is one of the largest species of leeches in the world, reaching up to 7 inches in length. It is usually found in damp, humid environments such as forests, jungles, and swamps. These leeches are carnivorous and feed on other invertebrae, including insects, worms, and even small reptiles. The giant Asian buffalo leech is a great predator and can be quite dangerous. It has a powerful bite that can easily break through human skin and cause serious infections. In addition, its saliva contains an anticoagulant that prevents the victim's blood from clotting, allowing the leech to feast uninterrupted. Victims of the giant Asian buffalo leech can suffer from severe blood loss, tissue damage, and even death. In order to protect yourself from this dangerous leech, it's important to be aware of its natural habitat and avoid areas where it is known to live. Wear protective clothing, such as long pants and long sleeves, whenever you're in or near its natural habitat. Additionally, be sure to inspect yourself frequently and remove any leeches you find on your body. Number 19. A Botfly the botfly is a species of fly found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. They are known for their large, bulbous bodies and wings that are covered in brown and yellowish stripes. Botflies typically lay their eggs on other insects, such as mosquitoes and horseflies, which then carry the eggs to their hosts. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae burrow into the skin of their host and start to feed on their blood. This can be incredibly painful and can cause intense itching and swelling. In some cases, the larva can even cause cause serious infections or even death. The botfly is a particularly dangerous insect because it is nearly impossible to remove the larva manually. This means that the only way to remove them is to have a professional do it or use some kind of insecticide. If you suspect that you have been infected by a botfly, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. To avoid being infected by a botfly, it is important to be aware of their presence and take the proper precautions. Wear long sleeves and pants to protect your skin skin from the larva and inspect yourself frequently for any signs of infection. Additionally, use insect repellents to repel any potential hosts such as mosquitoes and horseflies. Number 18. Fleas. Oh man, fleas are the worst kind of pets. They are small, tiny even, but nevertheless dangerous insects that can cause immense discomfort and even serious health risks. Fleas are wingless insects that measure anywhere from 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch in size. They are found all over the world, living in both indoor and outdoor environments, and are particularly fond of warm, moist climates. Fleas are most commonly found on animals, but can also live on humans and in carpets, furniture, and other household items and they are dangerous for a number of reasons. Firstly, their bites can cause skin irritation and itching, which can be extremely uncomfortable. Secondly, fleas can carry a number of diseases, including tapeworms, cat scratch fever, and plague. Thirdly, fleas can reproduce rapidly and can quickly become a problem if left unchecked. In order to avoid fleas, it is important to keep your home and pets clean and free of fleas. Vacuuming and washing pet bedding regularly can help reduce the risk of fleas. Additionally, it is important to check your pet for fleas regularly and to use a flea prevention product if necessary. Finally, it is important to treat any infestations quickly and effectively in order to prevent them from spreading. Number 17. Buffalo Gnats Buffalo gnats, also known as black flies, are small biting insects found in many parts of North America. They are approximately one-eighth of an inch in size and have a black body with a humped back. They live near streams, rivers, and other bodies of water where they breed and lay eggs. These insects are dangerous for several reasons. Firstly, their bites can be painful and cause itchiness and swelling. Secondly, buffalo gnats can transmit a number of diseases to humans, including tularemia and river blindness. 
blindness. Thirdly, they are also capable of transmitting tapeworms between animals, which can cause illness in both humans and animals. In order to avoid buffalo gnats, it's important to wear protective clothing when outdoors near areas where they are known to be present. Additionally, bug sprays and insect repellents can be used to keep them away. If you have been bitten by a buffalo gnat, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as possible if you experience any symptoms. River blindness is typically characterized by skin complications and visual impairment. Many cases are asymptomatic, meaning the person does not exhibit symptoms. Those with symptoms get ill 9 to 24 months after exposure. Worms can live in humans for 10 to 15 years. Yikes! Number 16. Kissing Bugs no, these little critters are not as cute as their name, not by a long shot. Kissing bugs are small nocturnal creatures that can be found in many parts of the world. They are easily recognizable by their dark brown or black color and measure between one quarter to half of an inch in size. They are most commonly found in the southwestern United States, Central and South America, and some parts of Africa. Kissing bugs are dangerous for a number of reasons. For one, their bites can cause irritation and itchiness, which can be uncomfortable. Secondly, they spread a number of diseases to humans, including Changus disease, which is caused by the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi. This disease can cause severe symptoms and even death if left untreated. Without treatment, serious complications occur in approximately 20 to 30 percent of people infected with the parasite. These complications can include an enlarged heart, heart failure, and an enlarged esophagus or colon. People may even die from the infection. However, treatment for Chagas disease is available, and if caught early enough, the infection can often be successfully treated. In order to avoid kissing bugs, it is important to keep your home and yard clean and free of clutter. Vacuuming and washing pet bedding regularly can help reduce the risk of infection. Number 15. Asian Giant Hornet the Asian giant hornet's fancy scientific name is Vespa mandarinia. It's a species of hornet found mainly in temperate and tropical East Asia, and with a body length of up to two inches, it's the world's largest hornet. It is also a very aggressive predator, and its powerful sting can cause extreme pain and other serious complications. The Asian giant hornet is native to countries such as Japan, China, Korea, Taiwan, and parts of Russia. It prefers to inhabit forests and lowland areas and is most commonly found in areas with abundant flowers and other food sources. It is also an invasive species in some regions and has been found in North America and Europe. This massive hornet preys on bees, wasps, and other insects. In humans, its sting can cause extreme pain, anaphylactic shock, and kidney failure. In addition, its venom contains a powerful neurotoxin that can cause paralysis and death in humans if not treated quickly. The species is also capable of delivering multiple stings to its victim, making it even more dangerous. The Asian giant hornet is an impressive creature, and one that you definitely don't want to mess with. If you come across one of these bugs, it's best to keep Keep your distance and seek medical attention immediately if stung. Number 14. Tsetse Fly the tsetse fly is a species of fly found mainly in tropical and subtropical Africa. It is about the size of a housefly and has a distinctive pattern of brown and yellow stripes on its body. It is best known for its role in spreading the deadly disease known as African trypanosomiasis, or sleeping sickness. Tsetse flies inhabit areas of grassland and forest in sub-Saharan Africa, where they feed on mammalian blood. It's estimated that up to 3 million people are at risk of contracting sleep sleeping sickness due to the presence of tsetse flies. The flies themselves can be carriers of the parasite that causes the disease, and they can also transmit it to humans and other mammals through their bite. The tsetse fly is an incredibly dangerous insect, and its bite can cause great harm. It can cause a number of unpleasant symptoms, such as fever, headaches, muscle aches, and dizziness. In more severe cases, the parasite can cause serious neurological damage, including confusion, difficulty speaking, and even coma. The death toll of African sleeping sickness is estimated to be between 50,000 and 500,000 people each year, but the exact number is difficult to determine. In 2010, it can cause around 9,000 deaths. However, the disease is highly underreported and underdiagnosed, so the true death toll may be a lot higher. The mortality rate for this horrific illness is close to 100% if left untreated. Number 13. Africanized Bee 
Africanized killer bees, also known as simply killer bees, are a hybrid of the African honeybee and the European honeybee. They are native to Africa and have been known to inhabit parts of North, Central, and South America, where they were accidentally released in the 1950s. This species of bees is very aggressive and will attack anything that comes near their hive, making them extremely dangerous. Not only that, but they attack in numbers much greater than European honeybees. The victims receive 10 times as many stings than from the European strain. Africanized killer bees are larger and more active than the European honeybees as well, and their colonies can contain up to 50 times more individuals. Africanized killer bees are extremely territorial and defensive of their hive, and will relentlessly pursue anything that disturbs them for up to a quarter of a mile. They are incredibly fast and can reach speeds of up to 25 miles an hour when chasing intruders. But this strand is not only dangerous to humans, they are capable of causing immense destruction to crops and livestock. Their venom is no more potent than that of the European honeybee, but they can deliver more stings due to their aggressive nature. Their stings can be fatal in rare cases, and they can cause allergic reactions in some people. Number 12. The Puss Caterpillar the Puss Caterpillar is a species of venomous caterpillar native to the eastern United States. This fuzzy little bug that sort of looks like Cousin It from the Adams Family is also known as the Southern Flannel Moth or the Asp Caterpillar. It has a thick, soft and long coat of fur that can range from yellow to orange or brown in color and a dark stripe running down its back. This caterpillar is found in woods, gardens and parks and can often be seen resting on the leaves of plants. The Puss Caterpillar is one of the most venomous caterpillars in North America, and contact with it can cause a plethora of reactions, ranging from blistering and itching to shock and even death in rare cases. The venom is released through tiny hairs called spines, which are found in the caterpillar's body. Contact with the spines can cause intense pain, burning, and itching. The Puss Caterpillar is most commonly known in the eastern United States, from Massachusetts to Florida and as far west as Texas. It can be identified by its distinctive tufts of fur and the dark stripe running down its back. It is important to note that although the pus caterpillar is venomous, it is not aggressive. It will only sting if it is disturbed or threatened, so it is important to avoid touching or handling it. So basically, if you see one, simply don't interact with it. Number 11. Driver Ants Driver ants are a species of ant native to East, West, and Central Africa that are known for their fierce aggression and highly organized colonies. These ants form super colonies that can span up to 30 miles in length. That's the size of a small town. And they are typically found in warm and humid areas with plenty of food and water resource and water sources. Driver ants are identified by their reddish brown color and large skin, and they have powerful mandibles which can easily tear through skin and cause serious injury. They are also very fast, able to run up to 10 miles per hour, and can be quite intimidating when they swarm. Driver ants are also very aggressive, and will attack anything that disturbs their nests. These ants are mean little creatures, and are regarded by experts as the most deadly insects on the planet. The colonies of driver ants are organized into different castes, with queens, workers, soldiers, and drones. The queen ants are the only ones capable of reproduction, and they can lay up to 10,000 eggs each each day. The workers are responsible for gathering food and maintaining the nest, while the soldiers are tasked with protecting the colony from predators. Lastly, the drones are responsible for mating with the queen. One aspect of driver ants that make them so frightening is the fact that they are actually carnivores. These vicious ants will simply eat or kill anything that stands in their way. They can overpower and even kill humans if they feel threatened. Number 10. Brazilian Wandering Spiders Brazilian wandering spiders are a species of spider found in Central and South America. They are some of the most venomous spiders on the planet. They are identified by their large, dark bodies with distinct orange, white, and black markings, and are usually between 2 and 3 inches in size. These spiders are also known for their unique behavior as they wander around the forest floor throughout the year in search of food and mates. They prefer dark and damp areas and can be found in piles of leaves and logs in homes 
bombs, and even in cars. The bite of a Brazilian wandering spider is highly dangerous and can cause intense pain, swelling, and even paralysis. In some cases, the venom can be fatal, so it is important to seek medical attention if you are bitten by one of these spiders. In addition to the venom, Brazilian wandering spiders also have a very aggressive nature and will attack if they feel threatened. This behavior, combined with the venom, makes them one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. The Brazilian wandering spider is also known for its ability to produce a painful bite even when it is not threatened. This is due to the fact that they are attracted to vibrations and will bite if they sense something that could be food. In other words, you don't want to mess with this one. Number 9. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes are one of the most dangerous and pesky pests in the world. They are found in nearly all parts of the globe, from tropical and subtropical regions to temperate and arctic climates. They are also found in virtually every type of habitat, including marshes, wetlands, woodlands, and even urban areas. They are incredibly dangerous to humans because they are vectors for a wide array of diseases. These diseases can range from the mild, such as West Nile virus, to the deadly, such as malaria. Mosquitoes are able to spread these diseases by biting people and animals and transferring the pathogens from one host to another. Mosquitoes have a complex life cycle, consisting of four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. They typically lay their eggs in stagnant water, such as ponds, puddles, and ditches. The eggs hatch into larvae, which feed on organic matter in the water. The larvae then develop into pupae, which eventually transform into adult mosquitoes. The adult mosquitoes then seek out a human or animal host to feed on. This is when they become the most dangerous, as they can transfer diseases into their hosts through their bites. In fact, not only is the mosquito the deadliest bug in the world, but it is also the deadliest animal overall, and by far. According to the World Health Organization, mosquitoes are responsible for the deaths of more than 725,000 people every year. Number 8. Fire Ant Fire ants are a species of ants found in many parts of the world, including North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. They are small, reddish-brown insects that can be found nestling in soil and other areas around homes and businesses. Fire ants are highly aggressive and will quickly swarm and attack anyone or anything that disturbs their nest. They are also known to bite and sting their victims. The sting of a fire ant is incredibly and can cause swelling, itching, and even anaphylactic shock in some cases, although this is very rare. Fire ants are omnivorous, meaning they feed on a variety of foods, including insects, plants, and even other animals. They are also known to be highly territorial, especially when their nest is disrupted. They live in large colonies with a single queen and numerous workers. The queen can lay up to 1,500 eggs a day, ensuring that there is a steady supply of new workers to help build and maintain the nest. Fire ants are resilient and can survive a variety of climates and habitats, including dry and wet areas. They prefer warm and humid environments such as those in the southern United States and tropical regions. Number 7. Indian Red Scorpion the Indian red scorpion is a species found primarily in India and parts of the Middle East, hence its name. It is one of the most dangerous species of scorpion in the world, and is capable of delivering a lethal sting to humans. It is reddish-brown in color and can grow to be up to 4 inches long. They are found in dry, desert-like areas and can live in a range of temperatures. They can also be found in agricultural fields, trash heaps, and other places with a lot of debris. The Indian red scorpion's sting is highly venomous and can cause severe pain, swelling, and even death in humans. It is believed to contain a neurotoxin that can paralyze its prey and make it easier for the scorpion to eat. The venom can also lead to anaphylactic shock, which can be life-threatening. It is important to be aware of the presence of the Indian red scorpion and take precautions to avoid being stung. Wear protective clothing and boots when in areas where scorpions are known to live, and be sure to check any items may have been left outside before bringing them indoors. Do not disturb any scorpions that you encounter, as this may cause them to sting you. Number 6. Black Widow Spider 
The Black Widow Spider is one of the most well-known and feared spiders in the world. It is found throughout the world in many different habitats, but is most commonly found in the warm, dry climates of the American Southwest and Mexico. The female of the species is the most dangerous, as she is the one that possesses the venom-filled spinnerets. The venom is 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake and can cause a variety of symptoms in humans, ranging from localized pain and swelling to more serious cases, such as muscle spasms, sweat and even paralysis. In rare cases, a bite from a black widow spider can be fatal. The female of the species is easily identified by its black body and distinctive bright red hourglass shaped marking on its abdomen. The male of the species is usually much smaller and has no venom, but is often mistaken for the female due to its similar coloration. Black widow spiders are usually found in large places such as under rocks, in crevices, and in wood piles. They also build large webs in which they can lay hundreds of eggs. The female will often stay with her eggs until they hatch and will aggressively defend them from any perceived threats. So, you know, watch out for that red hourglass. Number 5. Deathstalker Scorpion with such an ominous name, surely you are not expecting a lovey-dovey cute little insect. The Deathstalker Scorpion is one of the most dangerous and lethal creatures in the world. Found primarily in North Africa and the Middle East, this scorpion is one of the deadliest of its kind. It is a large, yellow-brown scorpion with a body length of up to seven and a half inches. The Deathstalker Scorpion's sting can certainly be fatal and, if not, extraordinarily painful. These little terrors live in a wide variety of habitats, from sandy deserts to rocky hillsides. It is nocturnal and spends most of its time hiding in dark, damp places during the day. At night, it emerges and hunts for food, which usually consists of insects, spiders, and small lizards. The Deathstalker scorpion's sting is incredibly dangerous and can cause swelling, nausea, and even death if not treated quickly. Its venom contains a powerful neurotoxin that can cause paralysis and also respiratory failure. It can take several days to recover from a sting, and even then, the effects may be long-lasting. The Deathstalker Scorpion is an incredibly dangerous creature, and one that should not be taken lightly. Its venom is incredibly powerful and can cause serious harm to humans if encountered. If you see one of these creatures in the wild, it is best to leave it alone and not risk coming into contact with it. Number 4. Blister Beetles Blister beetles are a species found in many parts of the world. They are known for their ability to produce a toxic compound called cantharidin, an irritant that causes painful blisters on the skin of humans and animals when they come into contact with the beetle. That's why they are called blister beetles. Even in low doses, cantharidin can be very dangerous and can cause severe pain and blistering of the skin. These pesky crawlies are commonly found in North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, and they prefer to live in sunny, dry environments such as deserts and grasslands. They are also found in agricultural fields where they feed on crops such as alfalfa, corn, and potatoes, making them pests to farmers. In humans, contact with blister beetles can cause painful burns, itching, and blistering of the skin. In animals, ingestion of the beetle can cause severe irritation of the mouth and other areas of the body, as well as nausea and vomiting. In extreme and rare cases, cantharidin poisoning can cause death. Given their potential to cause severe harm, it's important to be aware of the presence of blister beetles in your area and take steps to avoid contact with them. If you do come into contact with a beetle, it's important to wash the affected area with soap and water as soon as possible. Number 3. Parasitic Worm Parasitic worms, also known as helminths, are small organisms that live in the bodies of other animals, often humans. They can cause a variety of illnesses and symptoms, such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and malnutrition. In some cases, parasitic worms can even cause death. These horrific little bugs can be found in many places throughout the world, but they are particularly common in tropical and subtropical regions. They are most often transmitted through contaminated food and water, but they can also be transmitted through contact with infected animals, soil, or other objects. The most common type of parasitic worm is the roundworm, which lives in the small intestine of its host. These can cause symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, and weight loss. Other types of parasitic worms include tapeworms, hookworms, and whipworms, which can all cause similar symptoms. The most dangerous type of parasitic worm is the hookworm, which can be spread through contact with contaminated soil or objects. They can cause 
cause severe anemia, which can be fatal in some cases. If you are absolutely disgusted by this, here are a few steps you can implement to minimize your exposure to helminths. Washing your hands regularly and ensuring your food is properly cooked and stored can go a long way. Number two, IO moth caterpillars. The Io moth caterpillar is a small, colorful insect with a dangerous sting. It is found throughout the United States, especially in the southeast and midwest regions. The Io moth caterpillar has a unique and striking appearance with a bright green body with white and red stripes. It also has spines that are hollow and can easily break off, embedding deeply into the skin. The caterpillar lives in trees, shrubs, and low-lying vegetation where it feeds on a variety of plants. When it's time to pupate, the ion moth caterpillar will spin a cocoon in the leaf litter or attach itself to a tree or shrub. This caterpillar is a dangerous insect to humans as its venomized spines can cause a painful sting. The sting is usually mild and localized, but it can cause more severe reactions in some people, including swelling, itching, and even anaphylactic shock. It is important to take precautions when handling IO moth caterpillars, such as wearing gloves and long sleeves to avoid contact with it altogether. Despite its dangerous nature, the ion moth caterpillar is an important part of the natural ecosystem playing an important role in the food chain by providing food for birds and other animals. Number 1. Velvet Ants Velvet ants are small insects that are more common in the southwestern US, although they can also be found throughout the southeast. They are often mistaken for ants because of their similar size and shape, but they are actually a type of wasp. They are known as a cow killer, or cow ant, due to their painful sting, which is said to be strong enough to kill a cow. However, this is not really true. Velvet ants can be found in grassy areas and around the edges of forests. They are usually seen during the day, wandering around in search of food. They feed on nectar and other insects and can be found in meadows, gardens, and even in homes. Although the nickname Cow Killer is undeserving, they are nevertheless extremely dangerous to humans. Their sting can be excruciatingly painful and may result in swelling, nausea, difficulty breathing, and even anaphylactic shock. They are called velvetens because both males and females are covered by dense, velvety hair with brilliant patterns of black with red, yellow, or orange. The females are are wingless and are most often seen scurrying around the ground while the winged males are not usually noticed. As you can see, dangerous bugs come in many different shapes and sizes and can be dangerous in many ways. But what about you? Have you ever encountered one of the deadly bugs mentioned on this video? Tell us all about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. We'll see you next time then folks, this is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.